name is Shalee Super, your guide to world-class outdoors with Outside Yellowstone. Why come to the east side of Yellowstone to fly fish? 1,500 miles of world-class trout streams within two hours of Cody. That means over 600 pounds of trout per mile. Not only is our quality world-class, but the diversity Park County has with the stocked and native cutthroat makes this a special place. Lastly, you'll be able to enjoy solitude unlike anywhere else in the Rockies. Enjoy miles of river on our own without worrying about the next angler around the corner. Park County, Wyoming has so many wide open spaces and is sparsely populated. Here's what to know before you go. You'll want to make sure your gear is appropriate for the wilds of Wyoming. Waders and boots, of course. This is grizzly country and wild animals don't know where Yellowstone National Park ends and the Shoshone Forest begins. So bring bear spray. Food, water, and a first aid kit are always a good idea. If you hire a guide, we will have this all covered for you. And of course, you need a Wyoming fishing license. From remote and beautiful to easily accessible. If you have all day or just two hours, we've got you covered. Look for directions in the description below. It is a beautiful September morning. So where are we going today? Today we're going to three locations in Park County, Wyoming on the east side of Yellowstone National Park. Sunlight Basin, the North Fork of the Shoshone, and Hayden Arch Bridge on the Lower Shoshone Canyon. This is an amazing spot that's next to impossible to find, unless you're with a local, but it is a must see. Here you can expect to catch rainbows, brookies, and cutthroats. is incredible if you have a full day to explore. If you have four or five hours, try the North Fork of the Shoshone River. There are many access points along the river on the east side of Yellowstone. So what kind of fish are in this river? Uh, the main fish in this river are rainbows, cutthroats, and cutbow hybrids, which is when a rainbow and a cutthroat are spawning at the same time, sometimes their milt and eggs mix up and it creates a hybrid. last stop for the day right outside Cody on the lower Shoshone Canyon. This is just a short drive from town and according to our guide is stocked with fish. Scoop said that even in this swift water the fish are biting all year round. We had an amazing day. Whether you have all day or just a couple of hours, Outside Yellowstone has you covered. Join us on all of our adventures outside Yellowstone. Click.
subscribe, and if you have questions, leave a comment.